You've often heard the phrase, it's in his blood. Well, that's especially true for Randy Fordham, who is truly born to be a cattleman. With a deep passion for the cattle industry running throughout his family, Fordham has been around these animals all of his life. I grew up in southern Georgia, um, showed cattle ever since I was, a, was old enough to start showing. Uh, both my brothers and my sister showed cattle as well, and, and my wife, uh, we actually showed against each other uh, growing up cattle. So it's been a part of our life. We've had cow-calf operation ever since, uh, you know, ever since I was young. And now he tends to more than 100 head of cows for the Covenant Cattle Company, a business he runs alongside his wife and her brother. While caring for the herd and working a full-time job can lead to some long hours, Fordham wouldn't have it any other way. And a lot of times, so late evenings, uh, Saturday afternoons or Saturdays, it's spent here on the farm, and, you know, it's not like a job to me. It's, it's a way of life, and it's something I enjoy getting out and seeing the cattle and, and looking at, uh, you know, what, what we've been blessed with and uh, be able to take those animals and, and uh, to, with their performance, do the best we can with them. With that type of passion, it's no wonder he was asked to serve as the Georgia Cattlemen's Association president for the 2015 year. It's a position he doesn't take lightly. You know, to be here and to represent the cattle producers in the state, um, it's an honor for me to represent them and, and, hope, I can, and uh, hope I can do a job for them that they would, would want done. And to do that job, the association needs as many members as possible. While the numbers are at an all-time high, Fordham believes increasing membership even more will give them more of a voice. You look at the involvement we have in Atlanta, um, several things that we go to, we work with our legislators, we work with Farm Bureau on, we work with the milk producers on, and agribusiness groups to uh, conserve our way of life. Um, you know, our members are lifeblood, and if we can help promote and improve their industry, then it makes for a long-term goal for all, all of us to, to reach. However, it's not just the present that Fordham is focusing on, as the younger generation must be groomed at an early age to take over in the years to come. That's why he believes having strong youth and mentor programs is a must. Make our organization stronger through incorporating the youth and the junior organizations like the YCC just was started a few years ago, along with the adults. Uh, you know, the, the adults do a lot of the work today, but the juniors and, and the youth are involved heavily, and they're going to be here one day to take our place. So we gotta, we got to make sure they're prepared to, to take over when, uh, when it's their turn. As for what he hopes people will say about his term as president, Fordham just wants to leave the industry in better shape than he found it. I hope the people said that, you know, Randy, Randy supported us and worked for us. Uh, he spent time trying to help improve our organization uh, for the long term. And I think that's what we're all here for. You know, um, we're never promised tomorrow. And uh, we want to make sure that we leave something behind that benefits us for the long term. Reporting from Royston, I'm Damon Jones for the Georgia Farm Monitor.